right, so today we are out in beautiful Missouri at a place called Little Talladega. And this is an Airbnb, but not just your regular Airbnb. This Airbnb has its own racetrack, its own shop, its own dirt course. As a car guide, this is literally the dream Airbnb. It does not get much better than this. And I'm gonna give you a full tour just so you can really take in this place because there's a lot going on here. And I'm just gonna try to show it to you the best of my ability because it's pretty epic. So first we're gonna start with the house. The house in and of itself is just an awesome Airbnb. Like I'd be stoked to just stay at the house, but there's there's a lot more to it than that. But let's go through the house first because it's got some, uh, it's got some cool nuanced features and it, you'll see, you'll see, let's go. Hello, welcome in. All right, so. Main floor here, we have some water, which I'm pretty thirsty. So I'm gonna actually drink some water. Okay, moving on. Very nice uh, aesthetically. We got, we got a breakfast buffet over here. You know, it's like a bed and breakfast. And coming through here, we have a bathroom right off the pool area. So we can try to not make a huge mess in the house. And we have this really nice big kitchen. Gas stove, double oven gas stove. Nice lighting. We got this very modern living room, nice big TV. All right, moving upstairs. All right, right before we go upstairs, we have the Eagle's Nest. Very America. If you like America, this is the room for you. you got built-in shelving for all your books. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta show them the bathroom. The bathroom is the important bit. Jacuzzi tub. Boom. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool room. The Eagle's Nest, I like the name. Uh, we've got over here, there's multiple laundry rooms. So we got a laundry room here. Boom, which is good, because we need to do our laundry. And then now moving upstairs. We'll go up first, down second. We can take either or, but we're gonna go up first. All right, so we'll start with the least exciting room first. This is just, this is where you put your friends that you, uh, <laughs> the least important friends go in here. <laughs> this is the only, the only one that doesn't have its own bathroom. So that's that room, right? Nothing too special there. Coming through here. <clears throat> Got another bathroom. And then, what is this one? This is the Dale room. So very similar to the other room, king bed, Dale, if you like Dale. And then another bathroom with a sweet jacuzzi tub. So we got double jacuzzi tubs. It's pretty nice, excited to use that. All right, uh, moving on from here. Uh, we'll go to the other bedroom. This one's really cool. If you're a uh, JDM Nissan enthusiast, you will like this room. Adult car beds. I mean, there's no better way to describe it than that. So we've got a 300ZX bed, full with doors and everything. We've got a four post lift here. Uh, there's no car on top. Uh, that's in here right now. And then uh, R33. GTR bed. So, and this one also has its own bathroom. So it's pretty cool. Everyone gets their own bathrooms. Oh, the coolest part. Snap on hair, air dry, hair dryers? Is that what's called? Air dryers. Hair dryers. Hair dryers. Your girlfriend can uh, dry your hair as a car enthusiast. Oh, and then this cool window. We haven't tried to open it yet, but. Nice skylight. Okay, moving on. Before we head back downstairs, we've got the upstairs lounge area. So we've got this cool little nook. A lot of things here are car themed. I mean, generally I would think if you're here, you're a car enthusiast. I know there are people who come here who aren't here to drift and race around the track and ride side by sides, but we are, so it works out for us. Uh, <laughs> upstairs kitchen. This one will probably end up using more than the downstairs kitchen. Uh, so it's cool, we've got the snap-on toaster, snap-on knife set, so we can work on the car and cut our steaks. It's pretty handy. And fridge, obviously. Cool table. 
interesting. Yeah, more car theme things. Out here, probably the best view on the whole place. Got this nice balcony overlooking what is a giant pool. We haven't even walked around down there yet. We'll have to show you that when we go back downstairs. We got a water slide, we got a, a seating area, basketball, volleyball, diving board. As you can see, there's many more things here. We got a tennis court and a basketball court over there, a playground for the children. There's a baseball field. I don't I don't know the point in that. We got a little hangout area out here. So I guess now we'll go down the spiral staircase. We haven't even tried this one out yet. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is like, I expected it's this to be hard. Cool. This is like the soft style. Wow. Yeah, I, I haven't actually seen this yet. So, man, this is really nice. So, nice porch area. We got lounge chairs. We got floaties. We are going in the pool at some point. That is for sure. Uh, so, we've got more seating. We could eat in a different room of the house for every day that we're going to be here. <laughs> Uh, so we've got an outdoor grill, we've got a big outdoor speaker so we can blast music when we're not making a YouTube video so we don't get copyright claimed. Alright, so that's pretty much the gist of the outside. Let's go downstairs. That's got arguably the coolest room, at least the coolest items in the room. So down here we have a pretty normal bedroom with a couple beds. This one has its own bathroom as well. Just a uh, pretty basic bathroom. And then we've got a nice uh, outdoor exit onto the track. Just drift our car right up, park there, and walk right into the room. So that's the, uh, the normal room. It's a nice room, just a normal room. But then, this is the old school truck lovers room. I guess that's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> so we've got every make of old truck. We've got an old Chevy, an old Ford, and an old Dodge over here in the corner. So this room is super cool. I mean, again, the adult version of a car bed. But this is a truck bed. Ha, huh, what are we a truck bed? I get it. Uh, so this is gonna have a big projector in it and be like a, like a drive-in movie. Like as if you were laying in the back of a truck watching a drive-in movie. So that, that'll be really cool. Uh, but yeah, this is the truck room. And I think with that, we're wrapped up on the house. Um, so now let's go check out the shop. Probably the next biggest piece of the puzzle here. All right, now the shop. So this is a dream shop, an absolutely massive building. So we have our drift cars here this week uh, because we're gonna be drifting as much as we have tires, we can drift as much as we want, sun up to sundown. We haven't done it yet, we're trying to pace ourselves. But over here, we have dirt bikes, four wheelers. There's four miles of ATV trails. I'm very excited to explore those. I love off road vehicles. We got a tire machine, I just mounted up a bunch of fresh tires to burn off this weekend. We've already set up. A crazy cart course. If you don't know what crazy carts are, they're little electric drift carts over there. We've got five, six of them. And uh, we set up a nice little layout for that. And over here, we have go karts. An entire fleet of go karts to race each other with. Now, we're a pretty small group, but if we had a big group, we could all race each other on go karts. So. That should be a lot of fun. And then over here, the arcade. So we've got a ping pong table that could also, or is also a pool table, foosball table, air hockey table. Ben's over here playing initial D. He hasn't started yet. He probably can't figure out how to get to the end. We got initial D. We got some stuff. Jet ski game, fast and furious, big buck hunter. We got all the good arcade games. So overall, just a nice lounge area. We got another big speaker out here for listening to music. These two things in and of themselves are amazing. I mean, we've already had a blast and we haven't been here very long, but a few hours. But what we're, what we're all here for, the track. Dallas has its own track. All right, so coming out of the shop, we got a pretty big open area here. We're doing donuts and stuff like that. Massive wide track here. 
It's a pretty simple track, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of layouts for us to try drifting. We can cut up that way in front of the house as it loops around, but this turn up here is the one I'm the most excited about. I don't know if you can see it, if the video will capture it that well, but it has a good amount of elevation change. It probably goes up 15, 20 feet. Climbing a mountain. So it's, it's got a little bit of embankment to it, a little bit of elevation change up to the top. We've got nice plastic barriers that we're going to try to avoid because we probably don't want to go off the other side of that. see over there the tennis ball and basketball court I would show you guys that but we don't play tennis and we don't play basketball we're here to do car stuff so <laughs> if you play tennis and basketball maybe you'd be interested in that but it's a big fast turn this is probably gonna be top of third gear I mean you can get an idea from here of just how massive the shop is like it is a I don't know the exact size of it but it's got to be by 80 or something it's, it's huge huge shop we got barriers around the light poles we got lights uh, we're not supposed to drift at night obviously the neighbors would probably not be very happy about that but we might try to get some night drifting <laughs> pretty much the complete tour of the house this is an awesome place we have a few days here I am super excited to just rip around and have fun we're gonna do a ton of drifting <laughs> Crazy carts. Which they are doing right now. Since the time we left the shop, they've already got back at the crazy carts. Couldn't even let them charge. Someone just crashed one. <laughs> um, and then side by sides and off road trails. Should be an absolute blast if you're interested in checking this place out i think they they max it at like 20 people there's only like five of us so it's we're a small group but bring your friends have fun i mean this is again the car guys dream vacation uh, we're planning on going to the grocery store we're going to get a bunch of stuff and uh we don't have to leave for anything we got everything we want to do here so anyway that's going to be it for this video we'll have a good uh adventure coming up but for now that's a wrap so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing goodbye